All right, guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the Kershaw Emerson CQC6 and the Emerson Kershaw collaboration knives as a whole. And the reason why I wanted to do a video on these, I know they're not the newest blades out there, but I really feel like they're worth talking about because these knives are really competitive, especially these D2 offerings. And I feel like no one's talking about these on the interwebs anymore. And a lot of people are focusing on things like the Civivi Elementum and other knives like Petrified Fish uh, knives that are a very similar Chinese made D2 tool steel folders and flippers that a lot of people like I said are giving more um, attention to but these knives are really cool and honestly can be had for a great price. So first off like I said what we're talking about today is the Kershaw Emerson CQC6. This is the D2 version of this knife and I got this one uh, on Black Friday for under $40. I got it for like $37 and some change and I think that this is a Chinese knife so take that for what it is or take you know if you are not a Chinese Chinese knife kind of person and I'm not the biggest fan of them myself but if you don't like them then this knife probably isn't for you however if you are the type of person that's looking at buying something like a Civivi Elementum which the base model Civivi Elementums come in right around 40 to 50 dollars they're made out of D2 tool steel and they are actually a little bit smaller than these CQC 6s so very similar knives as a whole but I really think that these Kershaws are a bit better and maybe it's just me I like the ergonomics a little bit more and I love the fact that it comes with that awesome wave and the fact that once again it's a d2 tool steel blade means that you can put a wicked edge on it and it will hold it and it's a pretty tanky steel you know it can see a good amount of use and abuse now some people have said that they have issues with the fitment and overall finish of their knives for me uh, there's nothing wrong with mine I can only speak on you know the models that I own and honestly it's kind of scary that this is my true real Emerson Minicom and you put it up against a you know Kershaw uh, CQC6 and you guys can see there they are if you didn't know that this was a Kershaw collab you could genuinely believe that this is a real um, Emerson and granted I will say Emerson's fit and finish is not to the level of something like a hinderer and granted a hinderer is twice the price of an Emerson but you know like obviously it is not quite this you know fit and finish level so they are rough around the edges as a rule you know these Emersons are a little you know rough around the edges but at the same time too these Kershaws are every bit as good as a real Emerson I would say as far as fit and finish and build quality goes now of course there are a few differences the Emerson Kershaw collabs use a uh, frame lock whereas on a real um, Emerson they are a liner lock so they are a little bit different in that regard and of course um, the real Emersons use a chisel v-ground edge whereas this is a traditional just flat ground with you know two bevels and part of me doesn't like that but honestly part of me likes it a little bit more than that chisel grind because these guys are much easier to put on something like a wicked edge and tune up that edge polish up that edge and make it screaming sharp so anyways looking at these guys for from that lens uh, or point of view I think that these are really fantastic budget blades and uh, I would honestly recommend probably I would shy away from the 8CR13 MOV Emerson collabs because I think that the 8CR13 MOV they are just as expensive as these D2 models but unless you really want that stainlessness you're going to be taking a pretty big hit in edge retention and toughness however there are quite a few models and I'm probably going to be adding a few myself uh, a few more of these um d2 emerson collabs because i really like the fit and finish of them i like the edge retention of d2 it's good performing steel and once again for that 40 to 50 dollar price range that most of these emerson kershaw collabs are in is really hard to go wrong with and certainly i would say not to add more to someone's plate that is considering but definitely if you're considering any of the civivi or gosh i'm trying to think of some of the other more budget brands but like petrified fish i know kaiser has some cheaper offerings that are around this price point that are once again d2 
folders uh, that are oftentimes frame locks like this guy. But if you're looking at any of those, I would definitely consider, uh, at least consider this knife, because like I said, a lot of what this knife has that others don't is that way feature. So you're gonna have that cool ability to deploy this out of your pocket with the wave if you want or need that. In addition to, it is a very uh, squared away knife as far as ergos go, it is super comfy. And uh, once again, it borrows a lot on pre-existing Emerson designs. So Emerson did a lot of the footwork, so to speak, as far as making it comfy to begin with. I would say the only real difference between, you know, a real Emerson, I mean, aside from the aforementioned differences, is that the Emerson is probably just a little bit more hand filling because of that, uh, you know, frame lock, there is not as much handle material on this guy. So um, it is a, not quite as hand filling, but honestly, the size is right there. You know, it really is quite a bit like this Minicom, and I do really like that feature of it. So right around the same size, similar ergos, uh, similar features, of course. The Commander does have a really cool um, recurve blade, and this guy doesn't, but this has a very usable uh, drop point or almost clip point blade to it. So in addition to that too, it's coming around the same weight point as real Emerson's. These are not the lightest knives out there. They're around six ounces. I think this guy's like five and a half ounces, but uh, honestly not too bad and totally pocketable. So anyways, that's kind of my mini rant on these Kershaw Emerson collaborations. I would really recommend checking them out, especially if you are interested in Emerson's um, and you want to kind of like test the water. Water, uh, as far as Emerson's go. The cool thing is too, um, with these Kershaw collabs, they are not necessarily interchangeable hardware. There is differences, but the hardware is similar. So you can see that they use Phillips head screws for your body, and then your pivot is a slotted or flat head screw. So they use that kind of similar um, construction to real life Emerson's. So very cool. I really like them. And once again, I know they're not the newest designs out there, but you know, I was looking on Amazon and I was like, honestly, the Civivi Elementums, the uh, Kaisers and so many other Chinese made, similar to this guy, Chinese made blades are same price, same quality materials, you know, using G10 stainless steel and um, D2 tool steel for the blade. So very similar design and form and function. But I think that the Kershaw Emerson Collab makes this guy just a little bit cooler than those other competitive options. So anyways, just my opinion, but very cool knives. I uh, really do like it. This guy has an awesome, very nice detent that makes it so flickable. Like you can just, um, now it's making a liar out of me, but you just fly this guy right out and it is very cool. So anyways, that is my mini rant on the Kershaw Emerson collabs. Definitely check them out. The D2 ones I think are definitely worth the price, especially if you can find them for under $40 like I did, like 37 bucks for this is a steal of a deal. Really, it is pretty good. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.